decent grade in the gym. What's happening? started whether somebody in here or not yeah man I'm gonna start the video by saying greetings to you you know what I'm saying so Lotus in the evening time where I'm at East time shout out to Junior appreciate you being one of the first in here shout out to Rex Salute to everybody on the TikTok community. Shout out to Jay, Izzy, Aussie, Aussie G. That sounds like Australia. Apache, K O A, Urban, Ebony, Dez, Cesar Medina, Miguel. I'd like to give a shout out to all the first 10 people every time I go live. I've been going live, I want to say, the last six months on TikTok. And you know, I had some ups and downs. As you can see, I got like 2,000 subscribers. Shout out to Pat. Shout out to CJ. DR31. 600. Edward. But like I say, I've been going live for like the last three months. But I've been on TikTok for like, I want to say six months. And it's been a little bit of up and down for me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cyberbase Salute. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gabba Hoyberg, Laws Black. But this little topic right here, as you can see right there, what is your language and script? Since you claim indigenous American, that's a question I just got. But I already, and you know, I informed and I done done the research. You know, I went to Malcolm X College in Chicago, done by vocational high school. I also went to Atlanta Adult Tech in Atlanta. You know, I grew up playing basketball. I'm traveling. You know, I'm a traveler. I grew up with the people and the folks culture in Chicago. Y'all can heart the video. You know, showing love to the smaller channel is the ultimate goal. You know, for all of us to, you know, we we uniting against a common cause. This, you know, uniting and keeping us here back. So, what was your language? Ancient customs, food you ate, native etc. Exactly, those are the things that I want to answer in these live streams and interact. You know, with people from the Southwest, but that be New Mexico, Colorado, Cali, folks in the Southeast what we call the Bible Black Belt or, you know, the creek areas, Mississippian, you know what I mean? But I was born in Chicago, you know, that's my land. We call that the land, the land of Lincoln or whatever, stinking Lincoln. And, you know, I've never been on the East Coast like that. I've been to Canada, hard to video, by the way, y'all, ain't nothing wrong with that. I do it myself, you feel me? I heart in my own video. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a Mississippian. My granddaddy from Tuscaloosa, which y'all call Utah. Utah, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? That's where my granddaddy from. My grandmother is from Coahoma, Mississippi, AKA Clarksdale. If y'all know what Clarksdale, Mississippi is, yeah, show some love to Mississippians. And the name of my channel is PNFNSL. That's People Nation, Folk Nation, Supreme Leader. I'm the leader of it. You know, of uniting my culture in Chicago for the better development, growth, and development. You know what I'm saying? That's what I try to do for my Chicagoan and my Mississippian, you know. So I want to go ahead and answer that first little question from, uh, you know what I'm saying, global citizen. And if you are natives, why do you do your hair? It's the same as Africans. That's two questions you didn't ask so far. So let me get the pen and the paper. Because 
I'm gonna probably go ahead and take that serious and make notes and keep notes from now on when dealing with this. So now you, Jeff and Larry and Dave, and now I don't know what that's what you're talking about. Ain't nothing wrong with uniting my people and folk in Chicago. Your, your question is really blockable. It, just, it came from, from negativity, because we had something called the peace treaties back in 90, 1991, where everybody was coming together, people and folk. So, you know, you obviously not from Chicago. So I'm gonna let you hide that. But I'm gonna remember your name, D1 and only. Cause that was really some negative stuff, you heard me? I was very ne negative. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm all of that together. I'm saying I'm bringing them together, you heard me? I'm uniting. You from the shop? Well, I'm from Woodline, homie. I grew up on 65th and St. Lawrence, and I'm still there, you know? Okay? We got properties in Woodlawn. You know, we grew up middle class. I'm from St. Lawrence. I'm sure you heard about that, you know? Bone Crusher, Ball City, Bloody Curve, 67 and Rose. You know, that row body snatches 067 with the BDs, you know, so Mickey Cobras, Solid Four, all of that duck, you know. But definitely a Southside Survivor slash Rider. And if you from out there, you know me. I think I know where no love at. I think I know that hood. I heard of that before. I did hear about that before, I ain't gonna lie to you. But I'm from Woodlawn, I'm from 06 Trey St. Lawrence, 065 St. Lawrence, 065. Shout out to Yusuf. Brother Yusuf up in here, he from the same area I'm from. His daddy used to own the stove on 63rd and King Drive. On, on, on St. Lawrence, I mean. Brother Yusuf can vouch for my neighborhood. He know all about it. I used to work for his, for um, Fredo next door to his daddy. He said, I never heard of you. I never heard of you. And this video really about native. I've, I'm not really going in on Chicago, but you sound very, you know, sad because you thinking I'm supposed to know you. It's millions of people in Chicago. Yeah, you know, yeah, he said he from no love, from the city, you know, the hood, no love. And he feels so entitled and important Y'all heart the video, yo, cause I'm the only one who do these type of, these types of uh, videos where I interact with people and I don't do no racism or none of that. I involve everybody. So you said I know you. I don't remember saying that. Like, what I said is if you from there, you know me. If you from there, you know me, okay? That's what I said. So you can't be from that. You not from Woodlawn if you don't know me and my family. So I'm gonna leave it at that, but you ain't gonna bother you because there's some very great people out there in Chi-Town, but there's some real silly mofos out there too. It's, everybody know it's some real sick individuals in Chi-Town. You know, but it's all love. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Steve. I remember Steve, man. Good brother, your pops, Fredo. I'm the native of America. And you put the KKK up in there. I don't get y'all. I don't get y'all at all. So, America got 34 countries in it. In the United States, it's de facto. It's just one. You know the United States is just one. So let's focus on that brother's question. Global citizen, he said something about, let me see if I can go all the way back for him. For global citizen, I'm gonna focus on that. I ain't even gonna get distracted. I don't get, get distracted with all that personal stuff. Let's see if I can get that original question. Thank you for the heart, thank you so much. What was your language? Ancient customs, your food, you ate as natives, and answer that. So, our language is a culmination and a collaboration 
we go all the way back to obviously the Roman times of building with masonry and Moorish. When we come to civilization, they mean we were a civilization people and we also use biblical genealogy. So we go back to Moab because we use biblical genealogy as well as Quran. So we go to Moab and the Canaanites and what we call the Hittites and the Sumerians. So we going all the way back with this. And my language, as you can see, is a it's a combination of what they call American English and Latin American. So to even get more specific, we go back to a language called Maya or Ajamaya and Dilution. Look up Andalusian Ajamaya script and Kufish or Kufik. Kufik is found in Nevada. A global citizen is an ancient writing and it predates what we call Hajazi, Hieratic, and Ptolemaic. And this Kufic language is going to be responsible for what we call cursive Hebrew. Look up cursive script. Cursive writing stems from our people. So that's our language. Our script or the writing that we actually use is what we call right now Latin script. Right now today. And all that go back to native indigenous people. So our customs is Islamism. It's the practice of peace. That's our customary way that we present ourselves, our foods, mushroom, uh, corn, right? Cornbread, obviously, and small game, like the dodo bird. We were the first people to um, domesticate and, 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 and sell and trade with the turkey bird. That's why we also known as the Turks, which y'all know is Cherokee. Turkey and we also was the first people to you know domesticate the chicken bird it's like I say small game and then we got small fish we always added that but a lot of our people always was herbivores and vegetarian so you know we dealing with all the fruits of America you know and I like to clean the maruga rice I wish I can show y'all a picture of that right now but you can look up Moruga. You heard what I'm saying? Look up Moruga rice. So we are going to dismiss the native Indian. This land is called America. I'm American. And America has always been this land. That has been this land. Name Indian is a word given to people. It was given to people by the Europeans. Right? So... India is a word that goes to Los Nino Indio. You can look up Los Nino Indio. And Los In Nino Indio is how the European guests describe the people that they were able to baptize. The people that they was able to baptize, they call them Los Nino Indios, and that translates to the children of God. You know what I'm saying? The children of God. Y'all can look that up. Los Ninos, India. You said you might know D1. I mean, depending on his age, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm up there. You know, I'm in my 40s. So I was back in them 80s when Chick Vic, when Chief Vic was on Champlain by Makaj. You know, Victor Magruder. You know what I'm saying? Back in them days. I can name names for the folks on 67. You know, I can go in and out. You know what I'm saying? My folks been there since, you know, my grandparents moved on St. Lawrence in the 1950s. And we stayed one block away from Emmett Till. Y'all know Emmett Till Historical House. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look up Emmett Till. Thank y'all so much. I could probably try to share this live right quick and get more people over here right quick. Because I did not warn nobody that I'm live. And I have a large following on YouTube, but I've just been chilling. I've been traveling so much. So let me put this on the screen for y'all. 
So let's go over this. Like I say, I do the research. Okay, this should be a little bit bigger. Yeah, man, let me see. They're not giving me no option. Hold on. Why they not giving me the option to do what I want to do? Let me see. Effects, effects, enhance, effects, bam, there it go. So we can see right there, we got Creole, we got Creole Low, we got Palinque, we got Kufik, we got Petois, Ebonics, Tudanese, American Latin, in American English. Now there's other languages. You know, there's definitely other languages that I can say people where you mailing and contribute to. But this is just some, and this is in America, y'all. This is in America, like Bob Cohen, um, Maruda, and Mokarubo. So you don't believe that some of the BP people here in America are African? Yes, I do believe that because the trading network, you know, you can look at the highway system of Africa, and I'm talking about the ancient highway system. They had an ancient highway system in Africa during um, the 25th dynasty of what we call the Nubians and the Kushites. So they had ancient trade in there, and a lot of those people was the, they call it the leaders of the two lands, the queen of the two lands, the king of the two lands. So a lot of those people were ruling over there was also in America, and that's why we have a lot of similar names in America from the 25th dynasty, and I can go in on that as well. You know what I'm saying? So the people who was ruling the now was ruling over the Mississippi. It was a global network. And that's why we have so many similarities on both sides. Okay. Thank you for sharing the live. Thank you for sharing the live. It, that's cool with me. It is what it is. But I'm a I'm I'm the type of guy who gonna crawl before he walk. I'm a you know, walk before I run, I don't man the struggle. You know, I grew up in the struggle in Chicago. He said, why are the people here trying to separate the black nation? I don't think it's a separation. I think it's more like a people figuring out their genealogy and they using the right terminology versus what was given to the enslaved people. You got this term that was given to the enslaved people and you got your genealogy. So everybody wasn't enslaved. A lot of people wasn't, you know, a lot of people was speaking that Creole. A lot of people was Latin. A lot of people was in the islands with the Jamaican Arawak. So they got their own um, individual history. Now, as far as the black nation go, I want to say the last hundred years, that's when people started racially coming together and trying to find that identity and you know they was going against that system of racism you know Jim Crow and all that so we was identifying with that color you know and it was a success in so many ways going all the way back to Marcus Garvey you know what I'm saying with his movement so the people was coming together off race you know, so right now, a lot of people is dividing because when we look at the terminology, we got to understand that word black is a European term. So that's what I think the division is coming from because they want to separate from Europe so bad. You feel me? It's separation. All they do is disrespect the African. And I noticed that on TikTok, uh, D1. I noticed that on TikTok. But on YouTube, it's an Aboriginal movement. But the, you know, the Black community, you know, Tariq Nashi got the FBA. It's strong on YouTube, 
But I notice on TikTok, they going extra, extra with the separation. So I don't want to go that route. You understand me, D1? Because I understand, you know, we light skin, we brown skin, you know, we got cut different colors. So technically, some of us, you know, they don't want to be called that color. You, you, yeah, FBA do it too, because they separated from Ados, and I didn't like that at all because Ados was, you know, Ados with Yvette Carnell and Tone, they, they had the facts. You see what I'm saying? They had a lot of the numbers going for the reparations. So I didn't like how now she did that there. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like that at all. And Tariq now she got a lot of, you know, fighting him. You know, far as taking up for the race. But I don't like how, you know what I'm saying, they did that separation. So, but we have to come together and have an agreement on our national, our national understanding. And it's okay to disagree as we, you know, as we, yeah, definitely for the money. Because, you know, and I don't like that at all, you know, because we already know Buddy is about that money. And you know who I'm talking about, not she. He about that bag. He always needs some money for the museum in the line his own pockets. It ain't about the heart because if you think about it, we from the wealthiest nation on earth. We can come up with that money. You know, everybody. So it's supposed to be about race pride, you know, loving each other. That's what I want to go. I want to go to love, right? We are all earthlings. This is our home. Nature doesn't create the same thing twice. Yeah, I want to get back to that, August Ransom. I want to get back on that loving and get rid of the color games and just be American first. You know, that's why I lean Trump a little bit because it's about American first, but we got to be careful with what they mean by American. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I'm with y'all, man. Trust me, I'm with y'all a hundred percent. You know, but let's go over these languages for the video. I be having some controversial lives. And, you know, what we call um, shadow banning and censoring is real, man. So, my language, I'm going to use the right language for now on. But, as far as communicating with people. But yeah, they shadow band it tough. Let's go over Creole, Creolo, Palinque. Y'all look up Palinque people. Adjamaya, Kufic, Patois, Ebonic, Tudanese, American Latin, and American English. It's very important to know we contribute to all them languages. Now, Ebonic, Ebonic, similar to Creole, is our favorite language because with Ebonics, we is able to create new languages. You know what I'm saying? We we are able to create new languages. You know what I'm saying? We able to create new words through our rap culture. Rap is a culture all by itself. So when people get to asking you your customary, you know, your customs and you know, your culture, rap by itself is carrying a load on communications and social ability. Our social networking through rap done made us global. You know what I'm saying? So, just rap alone, we make it and create new words. We create new words every month. Every month, the youngsters, the old school players, we creating new words every month, y'all. Let me see how many minutes I've been on, and I'm going to ride out because I got to do another live on YouTube. So I got six more minutes, and I'm trying to slowly but surely, you know, climb my way back up. But like I say, rap music alone, combined with our Southern Creole, Ebonics, we create new words every month. So nobody create new words like us. The problem is with ownership and using the right legalese terms and getting the right representation for the leaders because we are all too fond with sellouts and cons who just want to siphon money from us and, and, and cheat us and do us wrong. We are used to it. 
Native Americans all across America is just used, you know, to the cons, man. You know, conning us about our energy. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to bring back to the forefront. You know, people out here leading and coming with information. But it ain't easy. It's not easy at all. I'm letting you know that now. When you chosen by, you know, the creator, you're going to get rejected. When you doing the right thing, people going to hate on you. You know, because if we was out here twerking and we was out here being pervert, everything will fall in your lap. When you doing it the dirty way, it's going to fall right in your lap. You know what I'm saying? But when you going about it the right way, you keeping the creator out front, you man, woman, and child, you heard me. It's, you know what I'm saying? That's when things get tough. When you want to be positive and true to yourself, and you want to sit up there and keep the creator first and be in tune with nature, you know what I'm saying? Everything is going to get difficult from now. And I'm okay with that struggle, you know, because, like I say, I'm already, hold on, there it go right there. I'm already used to the struggle, you know, growing up in Chicago, living in Atlanta, you know, South Bend, Indiana, Minneapolis. I've lived in some cities where it's really tough to live, you know what I'm saying? So, what we got left, what we got left? Uh, I got three more minutes, man, and it's not easy to build up this little movement, you know, and I came with the facts for y'all this video, you know, 30 minutes of the information. Y'all look at that one more time before I get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at these languages, and I got more. When I do a part two to this on the follow-up, you know, I'm going to come with the rest of the languages in America that I know our people with you melanin contributed to. So we got Creole. Creole is a native, but it's also a language. It's Louisiana Creole, um, Haitian Creole, and Mobile Creole. And that's what combined to make the Latin Creole we call French. Because they took that language over there and created French over there. But it's actually American Creole. Let's, let's look at it like that. Criollo actually means native customs. Native customs or local. Palenque is our people from Mexico and Colombia. And Ajamaya is also a language that's a part of what we call Kufic script. Ajamaya, go and look it up. Remember, Kufic is the original classic version of Arabic or Maghribic language, and we know Patois is also an English Creole. Ebonique, Ebonique, go back to the ebony tablets, ebony and ivory tablets, and it is a language that goes back hundreds, thousands of years. Ebo, Ebonics, it is us. It is our American heritage connected with our Maghribian, uh, Cordovan, and what we call uh, Marine Land or Al Kebulan. Look at Al Kebulan, AKA Africa. And then we got two the knees, a Southern language from America and obviously our writing script Latin is a script and English derives from Latin script and yeah that's it man thank y'all so much you know and I'm gonna be back tomorrow this video is a wrap salute to y'all man